brothers. Whatever is true, whatever is honourable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable. If there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things and the God of peace will be with you. Words from St Paul's letter to the Philippians and words that I think lie behind St David's last recorded words to his little community before he died and the little things that you have heard and seen in me do. Little things, said St David. But underlining both the words of St Paul and the words of our patron saint St David, that the thing that will actually bring people to Christ and change the world for good is the things that we do and the things that we say. And neither St Paul nor St David meant that to be an onerous burden upon us, thinking that we have to be good and perfect and saint-like. Because both St David and St Paul knew that what lies at the heart of the Christian faith is our ability to be honest about ourselves, about our flaws and about our mistakes because at the heart of the Christian faith lies the claim that our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ died for our sins and rose for our justification. When we know we have done wrong, we can confess and we are forgiven. And our discipleship doesn't therefore lie in being perfect or in trying to be perfect. Our discipleship lies in saying to God, as the prophet said, here am I, send me. Here am I with my weakness. Here am I with my flaws. Here am I with my fallibility and my personality as I am. Fill me afresh each day, Lord, with your Holy Spirit, that I may give you my gifts my singularity, my take on the world, that with my brothers and sisters in Christ, with their singularity, their particular take on the world, that we together, with all the things that, with which we rub each other up the wrong way and by which we get on each other's nerves, but which in the end complement each other so that together we may be, for our Lord and Saviour, a means by which he may use us for his good in the world by which we may be means of healing and of hope, along with others in this world that he has given us. So let us, as we look towards our Saints' Day and this season of Lent, let us offer ourselves once more to our Lord God, that we might be filled afresh with his love and set off again once more on the path of discipleship.